see the layout for my window telescope. It's a catadioptric Herschelian um, that's off axis and uh, uses two correcting lenses. And uh, this is the telescope that I got the idea for the chief from. Two lenses are a plano concave and a plano convex lens. And, and therefore I don't have to perforate the 12 inch flat that feeds the primary mirror uh, that's out in my yard. The primary is a 10 inch uh, mirror and it's actually uh, spherical because at f17 it really doesn't need to be parabolized. The 12 inch flat sits in an altazimuth mount um, that's driven by motors and uh, you, since the flat is next to the house, I can only see half of the sky, the southern half of the sky, up, up to vertical. But um, my sky here is uh, heavily polluted with light, and so um, about all I can see of interest are the planets anyway. Today I'm going to show you how I set up my 10 inch indoor observatory in my kitchen. Right now it looks like an ordinary kitchen which my wife prefers. But uh, when I want to I can set up an indoor observatory and I'll uh, show you how I do that. Wipe the curtains out of the way. Raise the blinds here. Um, I'm going to put in this panel this is the, the uh, focus end of it. I have a focuser on one end. On the other end, I have to put on correcting lenses. A set of plano convex and concave lenses that correct it because it's an off-axis system. At the right angle, and tilt for each lens. So I'm going to in the window here. And this has tabs on each end that sit into the window slot. This, this is custom made just for this window. It rests on the window sill. I close the window down on it. Keep the cold out or keep the mosquitoes out. And that's the first step. Here are my correcting lenses that uh, correct my system. Um, there's a Plano concave lens and a Plano convex lens. And they're mounted on two boards with a hinge on one end. And the hinge allows me to change the angle between the lenses uh, uh, with this uh, curved bolt here. And the group is also mounted in an angle uh, with respect to the uh, optical axis. And this, um, this end attaches to the, the optic, optic tube and it's uh, fastened with a, with a nut here. Okay, next I have to put my shelf on outside before I do. This is what it looks like. This is a acrylic worm gear, about almost 12 inches diameter. And it, it rests on three ball bearings. And it's driven by a quarter 20 threaded rod. Um, then the flat sets on this. This is actually 90 degrees. Flat sets on this just like a record player. So let me install this outside. Okay, so this is the outside. Um, got two lag screws here. That come to the and this just goes in the lag screws. And wing nuts to keep it in place. Pretty easy. 
I have folding pads behind here to, to protect it from the masonry. Okay, so here's my 12 inch optical flat with a dusty dust cover on it. So I'll take off. It's in a box and um, it's not counterweighted, but I have some springs here to try to keep, keep some of the weight off of it. And then I can uh, clamp down on this on this axis to, to lock it in place. It, um, it's driven by a worm sector uh, quarter quarter turning bolt and uh, on both axes here I have um, seven RPM DC motors that I'll hook up to it. So I'll install this outside on, on my um, on my shelf. Okay. Um, the here, I can't say that I have a little helper to help me find the, the hole. And I'll just put this on the pen. It's real easy to find the hole. Okay. And all I have to do is run these cords back up through the, the hole in my window. Now back inside I have plug my plugs into my control box and it runs off of a 9 volt uh, power supply I've got here. It's actually 12 volts on it. says 9 volts on it but it's delivering 12. And for each channel I have a pulse width modulator circuit uh, run in series. I have a low frequency and a high frequency uh, control and then I have a, a toggle switch to control the direction. So normally I use the high frequency to control the speed of the motor, but if I need an extended range, you actually get extra slow, then I'll use the, um, the uh, low frequency uh, PWM. Here's the circuits I use to drive my DC motors. They're PWMs, uh, one and two. Uh, one is a low frequency uh, PWM, two is high frequency, and when they're both on full, uh, I get uh, a duty cycle light like number one, which is pretty much uh, full voltage. If I turn down PWM one, I'll get something like line two, which is kind of choppy and noisy. Uh, so normally I turn down uh, PWM two first which gives me something like line 3. Um, then if I uh, turn them both down I get the extra slow speed which is like, like 9 4. Uh, a 10 inch F17 is a pretty long um, F ratio and so uh, it has a pretty narrow field of view. Um, so for wide fields, I, uh, I made this uh, homemade eyepiece, it's basically Hugen's eyepiece. It's just a, a, a double that I have up here and a, and a singlet. And uh, it's so long, long focal length I have to take my focuser off and use that. Just plugs that in. And I can actually slide this tube in and out for, for focusing if I need to. I 
And finally, you might wonder how in the hell are you going to find anything with this setup? It's actually pretty easy. I use a green laser. And this is um, an old eye piece that I took apart and used the tube. I've got a green laser in here with the o ring. And I just reach in and turn on my laser. Turn on the o ring. There we go. And then uh, it's daylight, but I do this in the dark, of course. Stick it in there. And this goes through the optics and shines up in the sky and tells me where I'm pointing. So I go outside in my flat to the target I'm looking for and come back inside. I also use the green laser for alignment and uh, should have mentioned that in my mirror box outside I have adjustments behind the mirror to, to do uh, uh, alignment adjustments. But uh, the, this telescope is really cool. I mean, I've spent hours in the, in the wintertime looking at the moon and the planets, and it's really a, it's really a joy to be able to do this kind of observing in the wintertime. You got to give it a try because it's, it's really, really fun. So I hope you enjoyed this.